easier to read at least once a year to remind us to, uh, to remember what was done to the children of Israel to Bnei Israel in the desert by the nation of Amalek where they attacked the nation from behind and uh, we are commanded as such to um, to destroy Amalek to destroy their memory and so forth and um, the question to be asked why is there a commandment to destroy Amalek what 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 is it they did? Well, on the surface, the way they attacked the Jewish people is they came behind. Where usually the people, the army led the led the people marching. That the strong people were in the front, and behind are the people who are, who are you know, the elderly, the sick. They're behind, and it, because they're protected by the army. What the Malik did is they came behind and specifically attacked the uh, the weak. So that seems to be the. Um, you know, a major reason why these are people, their evil cannot be um, cannot be tolerated. But there's another more powerful reason, if you really think about it. When the Jewish people came out of Egypt, everyone knew what happened. The miracles in Egypt were, were, were world-renowned. In fact, there's Midrashim that say that the whole world heard, heard about it. They all, they all saw these things that were happening. What also happened is, is that this was Egypt, the greatest nation in the world totally destroyed by a country born by God. So what kind of person attacks the nation and protects them by God? Remember, as they marched out of Egypt towards our Sinai, the Anone HaKovod, the, the clouds that rep represented the Divine Presence, surrounded them. It was miraculous what was going on over here. What kind of person would attack this nation? The fact is, when Amalek was upset about is the very presence of God in the world. They knew they were going down to defeat, but they could not handle the presence of God in this world. And therefore, what they wanted to do was just to attack the Jewish people, just to break the mythology, you know, in, in terms of what was going on. So, hey, listen, they knew they were going to go down to defeat, but they just wanted to go in there and just attack, try and break this tremendous feeling of God that was in the world. That's what they're about. And that's why we're to remember that. The evil in the world are people. There's such evil in the world that there are people who will attack the truth, attack goodness even, attack recognition of God. Not simply they don't believe, they believe. They know exactly what's going on. But they can't handle that there's this force of goodness in the world. And that's why they attacked the Jewish people. And that's why we have to remember it. And that's why we have to make the commitment. Mocha timcha et zecher amalek. But to destroy this idea, this idea of ungodliness, of, of attacking godliness that comes out of amalek.